and a special thanks and shout out to Community Ford of Mooresville, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Today, let's take an in-depth walk-around look at this 2008 Chrysler Aspen. And this is an Aspen Limited and is shown in light sandstone metallic clear coat and features a light graystone premium royale leather preferred suede microfiber interior with madrona burl wood and satin silver trim. And this Aspen is four-wheel drive with the full-time four-wheel drive system with a shift on the fly two speed transfer case with four wheel drive lock and four wheel drive low modes selected by the dash mounted rotary dial. Power comes from the 5.7 liter multi displacement overhead valve 16 valve V8 engine. It creates 335 horsepower at 5,200 RPM, 370 pound feet of torque at 4,200 RPM. Maximum payload for the Hemi powered Aspen is 1,520 pounds with a maximum trailer towing capacity at 8,700 pounds. The sole available transmission is a 5-speed 5 545 RFE automatic gearbox with tow haul modes. Unveiled at the 2005 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, the Chrysler Aspen is a luxury SUV based on the Dodge Durango from 2007 model year and was discontinued after the 2009 model year. Aspen styling is different from the Durango, with a styled tail lamp similar to the Chrysler 300 instead of the Durango's more off-road concept power box style tail lights. Chrome trim accents the body color bumpers as does a chrome plinth with the Chrysler wing badge over the license plate mount, which also houses a park view backup camera module. Lower down, Park-Sense ultrasonic parking sensors are integrated into the bumper, as with the trailer receiver mounted in the center. Along the side, the body color factory running boards with the black treads are mounted below the doors with the latter sporting chrome door handles with side protection strips. Along the front doors are mounted chrome Chrysler name plates, and side view mirrors also sport chrome skull caps. Steering is power assisted rack and pinion with 20 inch 10 spoke chrome clad cast aluminum wheels with Cooper Discover 265 50 R20 all season tires. Brakes are four wheel disc brakes with ABS and electronic stability control. Around the front, obvious Chrysler styling accents differentiate the Aspen from the Durango, including the chrome plated egg crate grille with the Chrysler wing badge, along with the large clear headlamp lenses. At the top of the grille is mounted a factory chrome deflector panel, and the hood features a style of recessed strakes common with Chrysler vehicles during this model year. The bumper houses large round fog lamps with tow recovery hooks and is accented with chrome accents on the upper level. Starting this Aspen is equipped with a remote start as standard equipment. To operate as simple, just double press the remote start button on the key fob.
All right, let's take a look inside. Nice wide door openings. The door panels do feature up-level trim panels. You do have an Alpine premium audio system. As you can see, you also have the satin silver trim with the Madrona Burl wood trim. And this vehicle is equipped with two driver memory, power heated mirrors with auto dim, power windows and power door locks. You've also got an eight-way power driver seat. On the lower dash panel, you do have your 115 volt AC outlet power switch, and you've also got power adjustable pedals. Automatic light control with fog lamps, and you also have a tilt steering wheel. As you can see here, the leather seats have the preferred suede accents on the bolsters. All right, I'm pan through the interior and showing a little more details. As you can see, nice fluid power steering. The standard steering wheel does have feature leather and wood trim, although there is an aftermarket steering wheel cover. You do have satin silver trim on your spokes with cruise controls. Satin silver gauge faces. Dash panel does feature soft touch material. It also differentiates from the Durango with the analog clock mounted high up in the center. You've also got the Madrona Burl trim with satin silver accents along the sides. And this vehicle does feature the MyGig sound system with the touchscreen radio and a park view backup camera with activates in reverse. It also features a GPS navigation. All right, moving down, you do have dual zone automatic climate control. You've got heated front seats, your electronic stability control button, and a power point. And the burl wood trim continues on the center console with concealed storage and cup holders. Center armrest opens up to reveal two level storage with a re removable bin. Automatic dimming rear view mirror. You've also got the mini travel trip computer overhead console. Various trip functions. Displays all sorts of information vehicle related. As well as a compass and exterior temperature display. 3 channel home link universal garage door opener. And you've also got LED overhead reading lights. Illuminated vanity mirrors. Sun visors do slide out on extensions. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat. Now this vehicle is equipped with three rows of seating, so we'll take a look at the second row seat. Nice wide door openings. Same atten attention to detail on the set on the rear doors as the fronts. Twin bucket seats for the second row. They are fully adjustable. And they feature the same leather and microfiber preferred suede accents as the front seats do, as well as high adjustable head restraints. This vehicle does feature a center console. You do have your heated seat buttons, cup holders, and storage in the center armrest. And inside are the infrared headphones and remote control for the overhead DVD player. Rear temperature and climate controls, as well as audio inputs. You also have a household style AC outlet. Two more cup holders mounted on the floor. And you've also got seat bag map pockets. Overhead, you do have the fold down DVD player. Folding the seats is easy to gain access to the third row seat. Just lift up on the lever on the side of the seat. And the third row seat does seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding bench with high adjustable head restraints on all passenger seating areas. You do have molded cup holders as well as overhead illumination.
Alright, and opening the power lift gate is easy. Just double press the button on the key fob. We do have a nice amount of storage behind the third row seats. Small amount of storage underneath the trim panel. Cargo capacity behind the third row seats is 20.1 cubic feet. Folding the third row seats is easy from the rear, just lifting up on the levers. Cargo capacity expands to 68.4 cubic feet with the third row seats folded. And here's a view with the second row seats folded. With all the seats folded, your, car your total cargo capacity is 102.4 cubic feet. Double pressing the key fob button will close the lift gate. And this does conclude our in depth walk around look at the 2008 Chrysler Aspen Limited. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.